is totally for clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Creative Side DIY. I'm Todd. And I'm Amy. And we're flipping furniture to pay our daycare bill. Yep, and on today's video, we have a great French Provincial set that we got for how much? Free! For free! Yeah, we love free. Um, and it was a whole set, nightstand, dresser, and tall dresser. So stay tuned, check out this great set. Now would be a great time to like this video, subscribe to our page, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications about our future videos. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> the first step with the mirror is to tape it up as best we can to avoid having paint on the glass. Meanwhile, while Amy is finishing up taping, I'm taking 120 grit sandpaper and roughing up the top of this dresser. After this, I'll be sanding down the rest of this dresser and the drawers with the 120. So if you're looking at the bottom pieces here, I just popped off one of the pieces of veneer and when we got the dresser, it was already in this shape. That center piece was very sub stubborn and did not want to come off. So I took a flathead screwdriver and just picked away at it. And eventually I moved on to a putty knife to help me finish it. Had I had a chisel, I would have used that instead. So there's a little bit of glue left here so I started sanding it down. Now some of you may be wondering how is this going to look um, after it's painted you're not going to know the difference. The most important part is that it all looks the same.
The key to a really smooth finish is to sand between coats. So just going to do a quick wipe down before we start painting these again. Amy sanded them down so they're ready for the second coat. To get into all the intricate details on this piece, since we're not using our sprayer, we have a small paintbrush and I'm going in by hand to really get in all those tiny nooks and crannies. So I got this Rust-Oleum sprayer to go on top of all of our spray can to make spraying a lot smoother whenever we're spraying this. Uh, just comes out a lot easier and it's also you're not pinching down on top of the can. It was like six bucks at Lowe's. Our original plan with these inner drawers was to do a stencil, but our first attempt didn't go very well, and I just decided that I didn't feel like trying anymore on this piece because it felt like it had taken so long since we were doing so many pieces all at the same time. So uh, we're peeling off the tape and getting ready for our top coat, which we're putting on with the sponge so that we can go really fast. I would say one of the more challenging parts of this entire set was putting the hardware back on the pieces. Um, if you notice, each dresser drawer is curved a certain direction, while the handles will only fit on one side or the other. So make sure you keep all of your pieces in separate bags, especially when you're dealing with this many pieces of furniture. Now to my favorite part, putting everything back together. I just love it when you get to this part because you get to see all of the hard work that you put into the piece and see how it's going to turn out and how it's going to look and it's almost ready for listing, meaning that you're going to make some money. And I'm thinking about that going straight towards our daycare bill. Let's get excited y'all. So one of the unique parts about this dresser was the center drawer has a wire mesh piece that fits into the door followed by a piece of wood. So here you can see me putting the mesh in and then placing the wood. I'm just lining up the holes and here I am drilling the piece of wood 
to hold the mesh plate inside the door. And for the final step, we're putting the door back on the hinges, back on the dresser. And that's a wrap for this dresser. I've become very creative on getting the pieces of furniture inside of the house. When you have a pregnant wife that can't lift one side, um, you, you just have to make a way to get it in there. So this is my way. I get one dolly cart right outside the door and I have the other dolly cart under the piece of furniture and then I just get one side in the house. And now, you don't see me do this, but I actually run through the house, come through the garage and pick up the other side. And, um, and then just inch it in to the house and that's the hard part the rest is just simply picking it up and pushing it through the house uh, you may be wondering why do i go through my laundry room which is really skinny and it barely fits through there it's because i have two steps at my front door and that would be very hard by myself so if you haven't noticed it's been a few weeks since we posted a video well school started and when it did, we got very busy and had to focus on our kids there, uh, which is where a majority of our focus goes during a week. So we just haven't really had time to do flips, but um, we've had this video done for a while. Um, but now we're getting it out to you. So I hope you enjoyed watching us flip this set. Now it's time for the good stuff, the numbers. So we'll start at the top. Like Todd said, we got this set for free. Um, we spent $40 on paint and we had everything else that we needed. So that brings us to a total profit on this piece. Uh, $460. Yeah, and that $500 was quick. Um, I think we had multiple people upset that they didn't get the set. So maybe we should have listed it for more, but $460 on a free set, I'll take it any day of the week. Yeah, and we really debated on whether to list it higher, but we have so many things in our garage. We actually have another French Provincial set that we have uh, been working on flipping. And when you have two sets plus everything else we're flipping, it was just too much. So we had to get rid of something quick. <laughs>